Hi, this is Carrie Sandoval, and today I want to try something new. I've been saying I want to do videos for a while, and I have it. So, what's that about? Well, perfectionism, mostly. Feeling like it has to be just spectacular and perfect and wonderful in order to be released to the world. And that's not exactly true. So I'm saying thank you to that belief and I'm doing it anyway. <sighs> My intention for these videos is to one, get used to making videos, get used to this format, to get better at it, and three, to share more of who I am. For a long time, I've hidden behind my words. I've always been a writer, and I have stayed in the background. I'm really good at that, and so I'm working on it. Before I start with the, the meat of this video, I want to share with you a few things, a few updates. Today is the release of my new book that I'm co-authoring among 24 other women. It's called The Many Faces of Bullying. I'm going to put a link at the bottom of this page so that you can see it and check it out. My particular chapter is on kids and how I feel bullying is a cry for connection from our kids because it, it is getting worse for them, for everyone, where we don't, as a society, don't know how to treat each other. And so the, the chapter aims to teach readers how to connect with who they are so that they can make sure that they're communicating from a place of openness and connection rather than the default of just, just that automatic response. So I hope you'll check it out. It's the, like I said, the link is below. This week's article is appropriately titled How I Quit Smoking Meth, Drinking, and Doing Other Stupid Things because they were very stupid. I wasn't stupid, but the choices I was making were just not very good. So the five things that I did that were effective for me are one, I decided to stop. I said to myself, I'm going to stop. It was a decision. That decision has to be there for the person who's doing the drugs or drinking or whatever the addiction may be. It has to start with a decision because if they don't want to do it and if someone is making them do it, it's probably not going to stick. And I believe that every person at some level wants to stop. No one wants to to feel that way. When we declare something rather than saying, oh, I'll quit then, or I, I'll probably do it later, or, you know, it just goes on the back burner. But when we say, I have decided that I'm quitting, I have decided that I'm going to stop, not only are you saying it with conviction for yourself, but it commands to the universe or God or whatever you believe in that that you're stopping and it brings you that support that you need to actually quit. It'll bring you the right people, it'll bring you the right programs, the right situations. Everything that you need will be provided for you, but it has to start with you saying, I'm ready and I have decided that I'm going to stop. Number two, stop hanging out with people who don't want you to get better. This is hard because a lot of people don't. Not because they are bad people or because they don't like you, but because they have their own set of problems and well, they're not consciously trying to bring you down, but by being in that energy and by being with those people who are still doing the same things that you don't want to do, 
you're you're not going to get better, at least not very quickly. It will be a lot harder. So surround yourself with people who have done what you want to do and be around people who make you feel good and who support your decisions and who support you quitting whatever it is that you want to stop. That's why I strongly, strongly believe in having a mentor or a coach because that is what helped me and it's what helps so many other people. Three, find what makes you happy. Simple, right? Not all the time. I remember when I was drinking and doing drugs and all that stuff, um, my happiness was based on other people's happiness. So I didn't know what made me happy. I didn't know what made me feel good because everything that I was revolved around everything that everyone else was and what I, what I thought everyone else needed from me or needed me to be or wanted me to be to like me. And that is not a fun way to live. So I had to get really honest and really clear. Well, who am I? What's left of me after all this? And what do I want to do? And what makes me happy? It's a total rediscovery and maybe even discovery for the first time of who you really are and what you really want for. This is my is the hardest one but stop talking badly about yourself. Just stop. Just 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 don't do it. Because it's probably not true. Whatever you're telling yourself, whatever story you're telling yourself about how much you suck or how bad your situation is or whatever it is, it's not helping. And start being kind to yourself. Start telling yourself things that you wish other people would tell you. And really start generating the feeling of loving yourself don't just say them say nice things about yourself just to say them but really mean them and believe them and accept them and accept every part of who you are even the parts that are crazy or you think are crazy or that you think are not good enough they are and you are so Do it. Number five. Say yes when you mean yes. And say no when you mean no. No, I don't want to do drugs. No, I don't want to drink. Say it with conviction and with complete knowing. I know. I know what I'm committed to. And no, if, that's, if it's not in alignment with what I said I want, I'm going to say no. And if it is, I'm going to emphatically 100% say yes. So say yes when you mean yes and say no when you mean no. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it, share it, do all that stuff. If you didn't, then don't. Thank you. Every step that you take, no matter how insignificant it feels, no matter how scary it is it is important and it does matter and you do matter remember that life is supposed to be fun